गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स यू ऑल नो मी आई एम श्री राज मोरे एंड आई हार्टिली वेलकम यू टू क्लास सेवेंथ लास्ट ईयर वैन यू वेर इन सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड आई वॉज टीचिंग यू मैथ्स एंड आई रियली इंजॉयड लर्निंग मैथ्स विद यू आई एम सेंग लर्निंग वाई बिकॉज फॉर टीचर्स ऑल्सो इट इज़ अ लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस एनी वेज सो दिस ईयर आई विल बी टीचिंग यू फिजिक्स पार्ट ऑफ लिविंग साइंस there are three parts of living science physics chemistry and biology before starting with the lesson i would like to know what is physics from you like in chemistry we try to learn various chemical reactions right in biology we try to study living world likewise what do we do in physics so what is physics physics is a branch of science concerned with nature and properties of matter and energy in short physics is nothing but study of nature and its physical aspects okay so what are we going to study today we are going to study heat and its effect this is chapter number 5 of your textbook and we are going to learn only introductory part of the chapter today okay for today we are going to study only introductory part of the chapter now guys before starting with the lesson i would like to ask you have you seen the film frozen in this film there is a character of snowman who wants to be on a beach under the sun and enjoy a sunny day but what is a fact he is a snowman and being the snowman whenever he gets near to the heat this is what happens to him he starts melting so this is the nature of heat so this is what we are going to learn in this lesson nature of heat and effects of heat now in early days almost until the end of 18th century there was a misconception among scientists they believed that heat is some kind of fluid and it was supposed to be gained by the body when it was heated and lost when it was cooled however experiments conducted by these two men sir benjamin thompson also entitled as count rumford and james prescott joule at the beginning of 19th century proved that heat is a form of energy so they corrected the misconception okay they proved through experiments that heat is a form of energy it is also known as thermal energy and since it is energy it is interconvertible what do we mean by interconvertible since heat is a energy other forms of energy like chemical energy or light energy can be converted into heat energy and heat energy can be converted back into chemical energy or some other form of energy so it is interconvertible now we have to try to answer what exactly is heat heat is a form of energy which when given to solid liquid or a gas its molecule gain energy and they start moving faster like this here these are water molecules and when we provide enough energy to the molecules they start moving more the energy more the movement so the more we heat the substance 
the faster its molecules move. As you can see in this case, if you observe carefully, there are three different cases. In first case, temperature is between 0 and 10 degrees centigrade. In second case, temperature is around 20 degrees centigrade. And in third case, temperature is around 40 degrees centigrade. Now, in which case particles are moving faster? It is very clear that in third case where temperature is higher, there particles are moving faster. So this proves that higher the heat provided, more will be the temperature and greater will be the movement of particles. Now we can define heat. Heat is the energy of movement of molecule. If someone asks you what is heat, you will say heat is the energy of movement of molecules. Now we are going to study effects of heat. To study effects of heat, we are going to take one example. You have to imagine that there is a vessel filled with the water. You have to put some vegetables, maybe broccoli in it and then you have to keep this vessel for heating on a gas stove. So once you keep vegetables for boiling on a gas stove, you will observe that initially the temperature of water rises. So there is rise in temperature. Then water starts heating up and water level increases. So there is expansion because of heat. After some more time, water starts boiling and steam starts coming out. So now water is changing its state and getting converted into water vapor. So liquid is getting converted into gas. Regarding vegetables, you will observe that vegetables have started softening and even their taste changes. So this is a sort of chemical change okay it is a chemical change so heat is also causing change in chemicals right then after some more time if you observe through microscope you will see that microorganisms that were present initially in the water have all died up so heat affects living organism so what are the effects of heat heat causes increase in temperature second it causes expansion third it causes change of state like in our example there was change in state of water water got converted into water vapor that is liquid to gas conversion was there Fourth, it causes chemical change. In our example, there was change in taste of vegetable. And fourth, it affects living organism. So these are the effects of heat. So that's all for today guys. We have learned what is the concept of heat, what is heat and the effects of heat. Now comes the last part of today's video which is assignment so first question is what kind of energy is heat second how will you define heat third what are the effects of heat so I repeat what kind of energy is heat second how will you define heat third what are the effects of heat so these three questions you have to answer and I believe they are very easy because all these points we have discussed in today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
now you know that there is a lockdown period that's why we are doing this online teaching so you have to stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and your family